Hey guys, it's Skincare Sundays. Welcome back. Let's get started. No routine starts without cleansing my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and use First Aid Beauty's Cream Cleanser. I have used this product for the last seven years, but haven't used it as regularly. When I first started using this particular cleanser, I loved it. It was one of the foremost products that started to really change my skin. And I used it religiously for a very long time. And it did a wonderful job of sort of retexturizing my skin, really brightening my skin. And it just felt like my skin was cleaner for the first time in a long time. And I repurchased it recently. And I have to say that I, I'm a little disappointed because I'm almost certain that the formula has changed pretty drastically. Now it feels very much like a similar texture to my Neutrogena cream cleanser, which I absolutely love. I have no complaints about that cleanser at all. I use it religiously as well. For this particular product, I know that I looked forward to the, the actual lather and I don't get that anymore. However, it's a good cleanser in my opinion that doesn't irritate the skin, it doesn't interfere with any other products, it doesn't go overboard, um, it doesn't leave my skin dry. So those are the pluses still about this particular cream cleanser. Once I'm done with this cleanser, I'm done with it. So some of my favorite ingredients I will highlight because I always do. It doesn't have any sulfate, but there is aloe and glycerin. There also is allotonin. So once we go ahead, lather as much as we can, rinse, we can move on to the next product. Okay, so now once we've um, cleansed our skin and pat dried our skin down, immediately I'm gonna go in with a toner. One of my favorite brands, Thayer's Witch Hazel. I like the cucumber version of this. This is constantly in my medicine cabinet, always in rotation. Favorite ingredients, which is honestly all of them, and they're all pretty straightforward, include the purified water, the aloe vera leaf, the glycerin, the cucumber extract, citric acid extract, there's a little bit of grapefruit seed extract, all great things, all skin loving things, all skin soothing things, none of that additional garbage that you don't need in a toner. Again, the purpose of a toner is to really rebalance the pH in our skin. So we just want straightforward ingredients when we're going this route. One of my main um, target areas constantly is my under eye bags. They're red, they're puffy, they're prominent, they don't go away. This is just what genetics has blessed me with and so they're constantly at the forefront of things that I'm always trying to combat. Now genetics will not allow my under eye bags to completely go away. So I like to look for products that takes away from the puffiness in the overall prominent appearance of my under eye bags. I love using a under eye mask or um, sort of patch that does something very specific and does it well. And these raspberry roots collagen infused eye patches from the face shop are my absolute love. We did take a little break after I put these iPads on because they take at least 40 minutes to work for all of that collagen serum to sort of infuse and do its thing. You need to have some time to put these patches on. They're gentle around the eye, they stay put, they don't go anywhere, they don't sort of swim around. They also are very reliant upon collagen being the foremost ingredient, obviously. Collagen is a protein that exists in a section of the skin called the dermis. As the skin ages, our body is not going to continue to produce collagen in the abundance that we first have it. So without collagen, our skin is sort of going to start to sag, lose elasticity. It's gonna be very visible. And we want to infuse as much collagen as we can so that the skin appears plumper, so that it feels a little bit firmer. This is not going to penetrate my skin by any means, but topically it is going to help sort of fill in any fine lines and really reduce any puffiness that I may be experiencing that day. So my favorite ingredients in these eye patches, of course the collagen, like I just mentioned, the raspberry extract in here is going to be anti-inflammatory. There's also vitamin E in here. We love vitamin E for the skin. We want to have as much of that topically as we can. 
the antioxidants in here are going to be important for preventative oxidative damage. So that's going to lead to premature aging and we don't want any of that. These under eye patches are a mainstay in my cabinet and really are preventative. So I highly recommend them. So here is the first of two new products that I've been curious to try and I picked up the KNC all natural collagen infused lip mask. Now I personally don't use lip masks at all. Um, I don't have a problem with dry lips because I take care of mine. They're constantly moisturized. I keep them hydrated. I use all sorts of different um, lip products to ensure that I don't have dry lips. But I was really curious to use these ones in particular because they were infused with collagen. However, and maybe this is probably my fault, but because the under eye mask stays so well, I can actually move around with them and I can get more stuff done. I expected the lip mask to do the same thing. So we applied, took our little break that we needed so that the under eye mask could do its thing. Almost immediately after turning the camera off and I went to go do something in the kitchen, the lip mask slipped and kept slipping and kept slipping and slipping and slipping. So I don't have an actual reference point to give you of how well these masks performed because I didn't get that experience. They just would not stay on my lips. I will say some of the ingredients that piqued my interest were the cherry extract, the vitamin E, and the rose flower oil. You really don't need another under eye treatment. However, I am just sort of doubling up um, something in the air this week sort of just made my under eyes feel really taut and dry and I just want to ensure that I'm giving them the most hydration, the most moisture that I possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Shiseido Benefiance uh, Wrinkle Under Eye Cream. This is a great product. It doesn't actually absorb very quickly but overnight it's a great treatment leaves my under eyes feeling refreshed and my main concerns are always my crow's feet outside of the puffiness and super redness um, so that's probably why i'm using this particular eye cream following an eye mask last but not least of course we're going to tie up our nice neat skincare routine today with a moisturizer it comes from sunday riley this is the tidal brightening enzyme water cream I will say that it was hard choosing a product from this line, being that this would be the first sort of introduction that I had at all to Sunday Riley's products, but I'm pleasantly surprised at this pick. I am looking to get rid of some residual acne scarring and hyperpigmentation this week, so I wanted to focus on getting a product that did just that. It's incredible. Almost immediately there's instant gratification with this product and I'm pleasantly surprised with how well it works. Initially I will say it's cooling to the touch. I love the gel-ish sort of texture. A little goes a long way. It doesn't feel greasy. It absorbs beautifully. It's not irritating works well with other products that I had already put on my skin super gentle but effective those are all the pros some of my favorite ingredients there's hyaluronic acid papaya is going to smooth and exfoliate our skin the ingredient that piques my interest is the tamarind extract it's the first time that I believe I've ever encountered tamarind extract as an ingredient in any product that I've used thus far. Tamarind extract is going to reduce or remove common acne or chicken pox scars from the face and other parts of the body. This is amazing. This is exactly what we want. And this right here, I think is the ingredient that gives me that instant gratification the next morning of seeing sort of that bright, slow down process of hyperpigmented skin. I'm really looking forward to seeing what title can do week after week after week. So that is my quick to do routine with a couple of new products that I wanted to try. I hope my curiosity piqued your curiosity. Please leave any comments and questions below. And of course I will list everything that I use in this video today in the comment box. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my routine with me. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in my next skincare routine.